Welcome to Psych Insight. We're here to help you understand the world from a psychological perspective. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. We aim to delve into the intricate dance of human behavior, thoughts, and emotions, and to shine a light on the often overlooked influences that shape our daily lives. Today, we're going to dissect a concept that's fascinating and incredibly relevant. Law number 8 from The 48 Laws of Power by author Robert Greene. Have you ever considered how power dynamics shape our interactions and decisions? Power isn't just about politics or business, it's interwoven into the very fabric of our daily lives. From the moment we wake up to the time we close our eyes, we are part of a complex dance of influence and control. Law number eight states, make other people come to you, use bait if necessary. At its core, law number eight is about the strategic use of attraction and persuasion, Let's break down law number eight into its key components, power dynamics, strategic action, and the use of attraction or bait. Power dynamics. It's the interplay of forces that defines every relationship. It's about who has the upper hand, who is subservient, and who is equal. In essence, it's a game of chess where each move is crucial. It's not about brute force, but about subtle maneuvers and calculated decisions. Psychological principles such as the balance theory, and the social exchange theory shed light on these dynamics. Balance theory, for instance, suggests that people strive for balance in their relationships, and if there is an imbalance of power, they'll try to restore it. Now, let's move on to strategic action. This refers to the planned steps one takes to exert influence or gain power. It's a mental game where foresight and cunning are your best allies. The psychological principle of reciprocity can be applied here. When you do something for someone, they feel compelled to return the favor. This can be used strategically to gain influence and power over others. Finally, we delve into the use of attraction or bait. This is where the art of persuasion comes into play. It's about using charm, charisma, or valuable resources as a bait to attract and influence others. The scarcity principle in psychology explains why this works. People tend to perceive things that are scarce as more valuable. So when you present yourself or your resources as scarce and desirable, you become more attractive and persuasive. These three components of law number eight intertwine in a dance of power, strategy, and attraction. But remember, this is not about manipulation, but about understanding human behavior and using it wisely. It's about strategic action with respect, empathy, and consideration for others. Now that we've dissected law number eight, let's delve into the psychological tactics it employs. The psychology behind law number eight centers on the principles of reciprocity and scarcity. Reciprocity is a social norm that involves an exchange of benefits. Essentially, if you do something for someone, they'll feel obligated to return the favor. This principle can be a powerful tool when it comes to making others come to you. Now, let's turn our attention to the principle of scarcity. Scarcity creates value. It's the reason why diamonds are more expensive than pebbles, even though they're both essentially stones. But it's important to remember that these principles, while powerful, are merely tools. They're means to an end, not the end themselves. The real power lies in knowing how and when to use them. Reciprocity and scarcity work best when they're applied subtly. Their power diminishes when people feel manipulated or coerced. So when using these principles, it's important to strike a balance. You want to create a sense of obligation or desire without making people feel like they're being used. These psychological tactics are powerful tools in the game of power, but how can we apply them? Applying law number eight doesn't mean manipulating others. It's about strategic communication and understanding human behavior. Start by observing and understanding the people around you. Pay attention to their motivations, their fears, their desires. This isn't about exploiting these factors, but rather using this understanding to communicate more effectively and foster stronger connections. For example, if you know your colleague is driven by recognition, you might highlight their contributions during team meetings. This not only boosts their morale, but also strengthens your relationship with them. Similarly, if a friend is anxious about a big decision, empathize with their situation and reassure them. This shows your understanding and support, strengthening your bond. In essence, applying law number eight is about empathy and understanding. It's about recognizing the underlying currents of human behavior and using that knowledge to navigate your interactions more effectively. Remember, power isn't about control, but about understanding and facilitating effective interactions. So we've journeyed through the intricacies of law number eight, but what are the key takeaways? 
Let's recap. Law number eight in essence encourages us to make others come to us, to use our influence and power to draw people in, rather than chasing after them. It's about establishing a position of strength and making others react to our actions. Beneath this law lies a bedrock of psychological principles. We've delved into concepts like scarcity, attraction, and the human tendency to value what we can't easily obtain. These principles not only underscore the potency of Law Hash 8, but also highlight the deep psychological underpinnings that govern our interactions with power. Moreover, we've explored practical ways to apply Law Hash 8, from fostering desirability through scarcity to setting the pace in our interactions. By understanding and applying Law Number 8, we can navigate the world of power dynamics with more insight and finesse. This is not just about power, but about understanding human behavior and using that knowledge to make strategic decisions. I hope you enjoyed our exploration of law number eight of the 48 N laws of power. Until next time, stay curious and inspired and take care.